KTFO, the after party show. challenges, especially if it's a great challenge. I also believe that Errol Spence has a little bit more popularity to grow in the sport of boxing. Just maybe not amongst you, not amongst you, not amongst you. Not amongst 47,000 fans and 400,000 pay-per-view wives. For that was, but that's with Mikey Garcia. It doesn't matter, you and it doesn't Earl matter. It, does matter. it is bigger, it is bigger. Make it happen. But let's make sure it's bigger. Let's make sure it's bigger, and he's gonna and he's gonna elevate himself if he unifies the title that I unify, and he gets the WBC. What else did I tell y'all at the start of the year? I'm not fighting Spence for one title. I'm not fighting Spence for two titles. I'm fighting Spence for how many? Three. Thank you. So that means Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. I'm with Chuck PCville's finest, the KTFO after party show. Number 88, Mario Barrios taking on Keith one time third. Keith came out sharp, hard hitters. The jump left hook was working. His movement was there. The accuracy and the poise. Keith dominated this fight with purpose. Probably until the eighth round. He got hit with a big body shot in that round. We all know that's Keith's kryptonite. And it showed up again, once again in this fight. Round eight, that was the only round I gave Barrios. Keith's mouthpiece had came out of his mouth after the body shot, just like it did against Pac-Man. He had to take a breather, but he bounced back in the ninth round. But Barrios, he was looking a little better as the fight progressed. However, Keith did a good job dictating the pace of the fight. He was by far the ring general. Barrios looked very green in there against Keith Thurman. He had no answer for that leaping left hook from Keith. Keith landed that at will into the late rounds, you know, when Keith started to gas out. I was surprised how Barrios was able to take those shots from Thurman and keep going. It says a lot about the lion known as Tank Davis. But Keith, he a hey, he used his movement well in this fight. It wasn't running. It was him utilizing the ring effectively setting up his shots. His movement was throwing off the timing of Barrios. Everything he threw, he was thrown with conviction. But once again, you can see the time off kind of showed up at the end of the fight. He slowed down due to fatigue and his punches weren't as accurate. But he was still smart in there. Not letting Barrios walk him down against the ropes. Having great ring IQ. He moved around and stayed poised till he had a clean shot. There were hardly no punches wasted by Thurman. He busted Barrios all the way up in this fight, man. A unanimous decision victory by Keith Thurman. They interviewed both fighters, and Barrios said, hey, it was a good performance by Thurman, but I truly feel that I still belong in the welterweight division. Keith had gave the young lion credit. He said he's a true warrior with a bright future, but I want the titles. So somebody send me a contract. WBA champion Ugas, he was in attendance. Keith Thurman at the post-fight press conference, he said he wanted the winner between Spence and Ugas. I was kind of hoping for Crawford this summer because Arrow has no interest in fighting Keith. But after his performance against Barrios, I wouldn't mind seeing the fight. Even though I think Arrow would definitely target the body and make it a short night. Follow me on Twitter at ChuckB216 to stay ahead of the game, man. And be on the lookout for the prediction show for Kale Brook and Amir Khan coming soon. Chuck PCville's finest. But to you haters, 
call me your highness. Good win for Keith Thurman. I'm out.